नमस्ते भैया नमस्ते एवरीवन सो दिस इज द एक्सरसाइज दैट वी हैव टेकन यस्टरडे वी आर डूइंग एक्सरसाइज 1 इन एक्सरसाइज 1 वी आर ट्राइंग टू ऑब्जर्व द इमेजिनेशन एंड इन पर्टिकुलर द फीलिंग एंड देन ट्राइंग टू इवैल्यूएट इट बेसिकली एक्सरसाइज 1 इज ऑब्जर्विंग द सेल्फ बाय द सेल्फ दैट इज ऑब्जर्विंग द कॉन्शियसनेस बाय द कॉन्शियसनेस एंड आई थिंक एज वी आर गोइंग अलोंग so we are able to see the importance of it we are also able to see with more clarity whatever is being discussed in the morning session so in step 1 we try to see the imagination as it is without reacting without evaluating without judging without trying to change it modify it whatever isn't it just observe just observe the imagination as it is if you are not able to observe the imagination completely then start by observing the object of imagination then you can observe the thought associated with it and then you can see the feeling and as we have been sharing that we need to assign priority to this because this is something that is going to ensure happiness in me innately it may take some time right but this is what is doable this is what is my right program the first priority in my life so i have to work for it and as we were discussing yesterday that we can assign this as a task to us every 4 hours in a day so we can fix some slots and then we can see that i am paying attention to the self i am trying to observe the imagination i am trying to transform myself So exercise one is observing the consciousness by the consciousness. So in step one, we try to observe the imagination as it is, and in particular the feeling, without mixing anything from our side. And in step two, we are trying to evaluate the feeling. So we are asking ourselves whether my feeling is naturally acceptable to me. In other words, do I want the continuity of it? In other words. is it according is it in accordance with human nature or not this is something that we are trying to see and i suppose we all are now better clear about step 1 and 2 the way we were trying to observe the self the imagination 10 days back now we are in a better position we have more clarity can you see any kind of shift in the past 10 days when we started observing the imagination and now we and we are trying to evaluate it also are you able to see some shift in your observation this can be applicable to new participants as well as old participants the seriousness that we assign to this task is really enriching for us and you know there is something going that is going to transform me transform my life my whole vision of life of reality of family of society can change if i start looking things inside basically the whole task is to ensure that happiness becomes my innate nature i am innately happy i will see that when this starts happening your whole perspective changes towards people towards relations towards physical facilities towards life towards existence towards nature and a whole perspective changes so before i take up your reflection let me just read out the assignment that we took yesterday so observe your imagination try to differentiate between the desires that is feeling the thoughts and expectations in your imagination so now what is the state now many responses have come yeah very nice let me ask another question so are we now able to distinguish between our desire that is feeling thought and expectation better than earlier you can respond in the chat box are you able to distinguish between these three nice many responses coming in affirmation okay 
Gopali is saying that Abhidhyan Nigya hai. Amanji is saying that up to some extent. Yeah, I'm not saying that you are going to do it 100%. See, we are just trying to see the shift. Is some shift taking place within me or not? And let me share from my side that when I'm conducting the session, I'm also practicing practicing it within. And I, call, I can also see the shift that is taking place in me. I can also see that I have better clarity. So when I am trying to contemplate on something, right, the imagination gets focused on that reality. When I am sharing the content here or I am doing the exercise by myself, I have a better clarity. So this is something common to each one of us. I have also seen at a personal level that when I get up in the morning and I have some time left for starting the morning session and if i try to look within and try to do this do these steps then i have a better clarity within me i can see things more clearly because the program that i have to make for my body you know, is not there to that extent i can just be lying down and looking within and i can make out the difference between thought and feeling i can make out my feeling i can make out whether this feeling is naturally acceptable to me. I can also see that there are some feelings which may take time to transform. There are some feelings you know, which are uh, there quite near to my natural acceptance. So this kind of observation we can be making within ourselves and that would be quite helping you. Yeah, this is a doubt regarding translation, Tamil translation in particular. My question, Bhaiya, uh, for consciousness unit and the self, can we use the same Tamil translation? Because we have learned that self is a domain of consciousness unit. So that is why I had this doubt, Baya. Say it again. The question is not very clear. Baya, while translating in Tamil, can we use the same word for consciousness unit and the self? Because we have learned that Self is a domain of consciousness unit. So can we use the same word for these Tamil word for these two words? Consciousness unit and the self baya. Now when you say Tamil word for these two words. Mm -hmm. so, can we use then, the same word for both these words? Uh, better to use differently. If you see in English also you are using two different words. Otherwise no, when we start using the word consciousness uh, every time then people may not able to relate it so generally if you see in the workshop also when we write consciousness we write under brackets i that i have to pay attention to myself now when you say consciousness hey, yeah. there are various notions are associated with consciousness whether it is limited in size or whether it is all pervading whether it is you know, continuous or whether it is something else it is only some particular activity of the brain so all those things are there. In the prevalent science, mm -hmm. consciousness is related to material, some kind of characteristic of material. And in the spiritual tradition, it is treated, might be treated as something else. So better to use mm -hmm. the words in such a way, the purpose of the words is to indicate the reality. So we have mm -hmm. to use those words which you know, bring the attention of the reader to the reality as soon as, as, as far as possible. You know, without the reader getting lost. Mm -hmm. So they can't be treated as synonyms? No, they can be treated as synonyms. But while communicating, we have to use the words which brings the attention of the reader to the reality. So that the mm -hmm. reader does not get lost in some notions. Mm -hmm. Even when, like... Uh, you can see that while sharing, many people do say that myself is doing this. Then we have to say that, don't say myself, I am doing this. You have to pay mm -hmm. attention to yourself, isn't it? There are mm -hmm. some limitation of words. Basically, when we are talking about the self also, if we start using the word I, I have desire, I have thought, I have expectation. I am able to see, I am not able to see. This is naturally acceptable to me. If you try to replace all these I by self, it becomes a kind of and a, a distant reality. So there mm -hmm. also, when using the word self, you have to be a little cautious. 
many times no people while sharing the morning session also have used the word self or i in english as well as hindi sessions as if it is some different reality no it is you mm -hmm. it is me ji ji bhai got the point yeah. thank you so much uh, bhai i have two questions first uh, is that that if i have to do any work suppose if somebody is coming some guests are coming or i have to go out so the whole thing which is going to be happen in going to happen in future uh, like how i have to work or the whole thought processing goes in my mind so badly that it takes my you know peace means i just try to pictureize everything in my mind and that whole work how am i going to cook where how am i going to treat what am i going to talk and when i try to observe this that why this thoughts go thought is going on i only see the feeling is that ki i am so worried about the coming event whatever it is maybe i have to go out maybe i have to pack maybe i have to uh, welcome the guest or do some preparation go for an interview anything so this this goes on on a lot in me to the extent that i am not able to sleep at night and that thought until that event is done it goes on in my mind one question is that so why why it happens uh, this is my first question the second question is that bhaiya that whenever i try to observe uh, observe my thoughts and the feeling behind it especially in the negative thoughts when the thoughts are negative and when i try to observe the feeling that whether i am feeling sad or angry so when i try to see that what is the feeling and why i am feeling by that time the thoughts get dissolved this is one thing i am facing so am i on the right track and what uh, how should i improve my thought process i just want to know that yeah so basically the task is not to improve the thought process the first part that you shared essentially reflects that you might be lacking feeling of relationship to the relatives or to the guests so you get worried you might be having doubt on their intention maybe you have to explore and you have some fear some apprehension about their presence in the family at home so you have to think a lot when they are coming but if you are able to contemplate on the feeling of relationship and you are getting so many thoughts because there is some fear some doubt inside if you start contemplating on that part what feeling do i have and is it naturally acceptable to me if not then what is naturally acceptable to me so you will also get the vision about fulfilling your relations maybe they are having multiple preconditionings they have expectations which may not be in line with your natural acceptance but if okay. you have the feeling of relationship with them you can communicate to them and you can talk about you know the naturally acceptable feelings in relationship whenever you get a time to get in dialogue it's not that you are going to deliver a lecture there but whenever some issue arises you can go to the basics right and talk about what is the purpose of this maybe somebody says that you know uh, we are going for you know some tour outside we are going for this or that we are going for celebrations of costly uh, facilities all those things you can just look into yourself and find out whether it is needed or not if not then you can communicate the same to the other so okay. when i have the feeling of relationship and i have the clarity so i don't fear relations okay and we so get so much engrossed in our thought because the feeling part is not clear okay maya it is not only for the guest suppose if i have to now i have come to mumbai for some work so when i have to go i have to pack a lot of things i am awake you won't believe since 4 o'clock more than before than that and that thought is still going on in my mind i was waiting for the session till 5:30 so i, just, I yeah so that i wanted to ask question so it, this goes on there so this is like i don't know what is the fear or what is the doubt i doubt myself whether i will be able to do that work and when it comes to uh, uh, means in reality it goes on very smoothly 
but it takes away from my peace from you know far early, um, earlier like itne pehle yeah, se so i am not packing able... your bag also when you are packing your bag also and you, know, you are thinking of what to keep inside and what not to keep maybe one yes, kind of question yes. could be now again look into the purpose when you are selecting your garments what is the feeling behind that selection okay 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 isn't it so whatever and the facilities you are using the physical facilities you can look into the purpose look into the feeling associated with that choice is that feeling clear so if i am selecting something for getting respect from others then okay. it is neither definite nor continuous and there is some dependence outside and you will see that if i try to base my relationship on such external things right i am not able to relate to the other also we are seldom ever able to talk you know uh, in such a way that we are able to share our real self to the other we keep on talking about external things about food clothes you know moving here okay. and there isn't it celebrations okay. likes and dislikes when are yes. we talking about ourselves and whenever we have to talk about ourselves i just give an example but it's not always the case maybe we feel very sad we feel doomed of course of course this is this happens we may have tears when we have to talk about ourselves when i have to talk about my relations my peace inside then i can you know be in tears yes it, i am not fulfilling my relationship the way it is naturally acceptable to me so this is something that we call no as show off or something so the most of the relations have taken the shape of a show off okay and, okay and we are too burdened with this it is not leading anywhere you will find strangely that maybe some person is coming and sharing about all those extraneous things you know which are not very important and i also get under peer pressure and i also start sharing we keep on talking but we do not feel fulfilled yes but if you yes. see to the other that leave aside all these things talk about yourself how do you feel how do you feel with your spouse how do you feel with your children how do you feel about your life and then the other person also starts feeling relaxed that there is at least some person with whom i can talk okay okay and so i have to redefine my relationships okay okay and then so we we'll see that i thought i never thought this this is due to relationship i thought that this is my own lacking nahi like the competence has to be developed within only okay but when i'm not clear about relationships then whenever okay. i go to relate to somebody okay i am burdened with so many thoughts of selection of clothes selection of accessories you know or the content of talk what will i say okay just see people when they go for a kind of ceremony right and the feeling of relationship is lacking everybody is looking at everybody's garments or cosmetics and all those things but when of we course. have the feeling of relationship like when you meet your mother will you look at her garments and cosmetics no yes, <laughs> so you will just of course not look at yes. her you will look yes. at her how is her health how does she feel now is she feeling lonely or is she feeling happy you know you start talking about her you start thinking about her yes since we are not having relationship to you know that depth so we are somewhat fulfilling relationships in a very superficial manner and we are unhappy with that yes yes okay bhaiya and bhaiya second question uh, that my thought i'm going for a pardon similarly for a profession also maybe i'm going for a profession people are not actually looking or this is not acceptable to, to them also naturally to be you know relating happiness to physical facilities or our expression happiness is to be in harmony okay yes ji ji yes okay bhai uh, so i think that that needs to be intros that introspection requires from my side that what i have to how am i feeling and why so much worries are there yes. so i have to look into this okay and when i try to look into my negative feelings uh, negative thoughts and the feeling behind that 
so this is a good thing that the thoughts get dissolved but this happens way yeah. no it does not get dissolved means means uh, uh means if i am feeling very uh, you know there are very strong thoughts maybe i am angry with anyone maybe with my husband or my children and then uh, now when we are observing the feeling so i i try to observe the feeling behind that so by the time ki why am i angry and i am feeling angry or worried or uh, sad or whatever so those strong thoughts they just you know they those strong thoughts get dissolved now those thoughts are no more there when i observe my feelings yes it's like that yes so if you are able to observe your feeling then this all contradiction and randomness will in the thought will come down and you are then able to evaluate your feeling also and transform your feeling also yes it will take time so no need to you know just keep on expecting that this may happen very soon yeah but we yeah. that we have to enter into that process once okay. i am there in that process things will naturally happen yes okay i have to be clear about my feeling every moment this is something that you know i can accept as a kind of responsibility of mine that i have to be clear of my feeling every moment so so bhai this uh, this uh, you know uh, try, paying attention to the feeling is not a smooth process suppose a thought comes that i have to talk to this person uh, about this issue and then i stop my thoughts and start observing the feeling that why am i feeling so angry why, why i am like this so that is this i have to stop consciously it's not a smooth process at present yes because we are too much tuned to work at the level of thought okay we are mostly okay. working at the level of thought we are seldom ever uh, seldom able to you know reach out to the feeling okay okay so now since we are, when we are yes but if you see the previous state it was much more taxing now the thoughts are not taxing to that extent Yes. These thoughts are very taxing. When the thoughts have contradiction, they are too much taxing for us. We feel okay. tired thinking within ourselves. Yes, you know? of you're course. You are sitting by yourself. You don't have any work to do. You are just thinking, and you have contradiction in your thoughts. And within two hours, you feel like now I am enough tired, and I should go to sleep. Yes, it happens, man. Yes. because you are not able to see the feeling you are not able to uh, transform our feeling you are not able to reach out to the feeling initially <clears throat> okay so how does this happen bhaiya how do i improve myself this is what we are doing through morning sessions okay. <laughs> we are trying to <laughs> yes. observe the feeling and evaluate it and then transform it okay okay Okay. Yes. So the simple thing is observe, evaluate, and transform. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, Bhaiya. Thank you so much, Bhaiya. Nice, yeah. nice, Didi. Tara ji is saying sometimes there are phobias like seeing height, seeing lift, seeing escalator, being in the swing, etc. Many people get fear or worried. How can we see this in terms of Didi? Yeah. Now, whenever we have fear we can see what is making me afraid what is fear essentially whenever i do not have clarity about something and i have to interact with it i have to live with it i have fear you are going to sit on a chair and you do not have clarity whether the legs of the chair are okay or not then you will have fear of sitting on that chair also see if i am not having clarity i will have fear if i do not have clarity about the intention of the other i will have fear of the other if i do not have clarity about the self and body being two different units and self being a conscious and continuous unit i will have fear about my own being whether i am going to continue or whether i am going to you know uh, my uh, being is going to you know get over i will not use the word die also i will say that whether i am going to discontinue So I'll have fear about that. 
if I do not have clarity about something, and I feel afraid about that thing. So all these phobias essentially, if you see, maybe because of some previous incident or because of lack of clarity, may develop as phobias. So that excess fear. And the moment I see this, I feel afraid. There is a story about Napoleon that during his childhood, a cat jumped on his chest and scratched his chest. And he got so much of fear about cats that when he was attacking Russia and the uh, king of Russia was aware of this, that this person has phobia towards cats. So when he sent his army, the first two rows were carrying just cats in the front. And this person, Napoleon, got so afraid that he even lost his battle because he lost his school and he could not decide properly. So it could be due to some previous incident in life or it could be due to my own imagination also. In my own imagination, and I designed something and then I get afraid. Nice. So the first assignment that we studied, yeah. Now, the second thing is, Swamiji has read this time. I'll take question of Swam Prabhaji. When you have an unpleasant interaction with a close relative, spouse, family member, close friend, try and analyze the incident objectively. What is your expectation at the time? What is your thought process then? What is your feeling at the base of these thoughts? So you'll see that in our family, you know, we may enter into such situations when we have a heated debate, some unpleasant interaction, you know, some quarrelsome scenario, either with the spouse or some family member or some close friend or some guest. These things may happen. And then you get completely unhappy. You are not at peace with yourself. You feel anxious. You feel quite disturbed. Then you have to analyze these incidences also. What is happening inside? There are some expectation within you. There are some thought going on within you. There are some feeling within you. What was that? What made you so anxious, so disturbed, so uncomfortable, so reactive? And this is something that might be recurring in the family. Isn't it? And this could become a common scenario. We may also start accepting that this is life. This is the way the family is. I can't do anything about it. I am helpless about it. But this is not acceptable to me naturally again. So I have to resolve myself. So in all these scenarios, you can observe your expectation. You can observe your thought. You can observe your feeling. Maybe the expectation is not guided. It is unguided because the right understanding is missing. The thoughts are also unguided, and the feeling that you have is also unguided, it is not naturally acceptable to you. But you are moved by those feelings, by those thoughts, and you keep on entering into such situations, right? You can see that there are many people who you know, enter into these situations and feel quite depressed, or there are some people who develop their character like this most of the time, shouting on others, most of the time, getting angry, reacting. Okay, or complaining about others. Why is that happening at all? So if I am into any kind of this situation, then am I able to observe myself? So this is something quite doable. When you do household chores or tasks that may be repetitive, what is your feeling at the base of this doing? For example, when washing dishes, do you feel that you have willingly chosen to wash dishes? Or do you feel that the task was thrust upon you and that you would rather be doing something else more important? Now, while doing the household chores also, no? observe your feeling. If you have to do something on a routine basis, maybe you start feeling that I'm not being respected. Somewhat this is demeaning my presence in the family. And uh, why do I have to wash the dishes why do i have to clean the floor why do i have to set the room right every day why do i have to cook why do i have to go out and purchase every time you know, from the market so 
maybe we get such kinds of feelings and they may keep us disturbed most of the time but we are seldom able to observe the feeling and we keep on groaning we keep on complaining about others right now in these two cases when do you feel happy or unhappy certainly in the first case you feel unhappy because of feeling of opposition for that work while in the second case you feel happy because of feeling of acceptance for that work so while the work is the same the feeling that you have may not be the same and the feelings are making you happy or unhappy ji swayam prabha ji you had raised hand so there is lot more to explore here this is not something that is going to get over in a day or two you may keep on getting such feelings you may keep on getting in, into you know such scenarios keep on observing bhaiya this uh, the question of fear to bhaiya ye mujh mein bhi sometimes i get this kind of a fear like uh, even uh, sometimes you know like i see strangers like uh, post midnight supposing i am working and i see some strangers so uh, like supposing on the road uh, they are going i'm just sitting near the window so that scares me so bhaiya can is this something to do with a natural acceptance like and supposing i feel oh he's a, a person who is going maybe he has some work and uh, so yeah, will that uh, can i relate it to that way yes now just try to look into your thought and your feeling here so we might be informed that so many crimes are taking place here and there yes. and i may also enter into some scenario where i become a victim for example so that fear yes. is there isn't it yes and i am not resolved about it so if i am not resolved about it i will carry that fear within me so right. i can always see why the fear is there what kind of fear is there so there may be fear of loss of loss of respect fear of loss of life all those fears might be there yes yes probably that's right and moreover uh, this anxiety issues are also there sometimes particularly supposing you know as didi was just saying that supposing i have to also do so uh, the same thing happens that uh, some like i won't be getting uh, sleep like i'll be disturbed so i think here also Uh, like i have to accept that uh, and i have to uh, observe that what is the cause like am i more focusing yes. on uh, uh, the work or i'm focusing on myself so as you very rightly said that when we see our mother we are not very much uh, observe, like evaluating her on or she is not evaluating me on the basis of my dress etc so yes bhaiya yes yeah very true That's thank you so much yes yes see. yes we have been talking about relationship feeling of relationship but it is something that i have to work a lot for you know to ensure it within it will take time yes and yes when we are into that process it will transform a lot of things in my living in my expression in my choices in my you know uh, interactions all those things will get transformed yes yes and each day we are getting more uh, into it each day we get a new uh, kind of a uh, you know observation to be observed and so that's also some sort of a process that we are all undergoing so yes 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 bhaiya thank you so much namaste bhaiya bhaiya namaste didi uh bhaiya there is a question uh, uh basically we say ki someone if someone says ki i do this i do that uh, means i i i whatever he says i can do this i have done this so we say that the person is egoistic but here the we are talking is... the person is egoistic egoistic okay yeah but here we are talking about i so i am just bit <laughs> confused about so see there are two things one is that the reality is there i is there you are there isn't it and you are very much there you are a reality and you are a self and you are 
terming that self as I. So I have to see the self as it is. This is one thing. Second thing, when I do not evaluate me rightly, then I tend to over, under, otherwise evaluate myself. Now this over evaluation is sometimes also related to in Hindi in particular, may or aham, this over evaluation. So this is not naturally acceptable to me. So I of course have to see myself as the seer, doer, you know, and enjoyer. But at the same time, I have to rightly evaluate myself. If I do not rightly evaluate myself, then I will be entering into a state where it will be the state of ego. So we'll see that when I do not evaluate myself rightly, sometimes I over evaluate, sometimes I under evaluate. And then I have fluctuation between ego and depression. So on one hand, I am being termed as egoistic. On, on the other hand, you'll see that you know, I am feeling depressed when my expectations are not being, getting you know, met. So these two will see go together. When I'm over-evaluating myself in my relationship about with the other, then I'm under-evaluating the other. When I'm under-evaluating myself, I'm over-evaluating the other. The other person looks at me and calls me egoistic. Within me, I'm lacking confidence. I'm feeling depressed. Why will I exhibit any ego if I am having self-confidence? I try to boast, I try to you know, show off because within myself, I am not able to see that happiness is innate to me. I am trying to fetch happiness from outside. I am feeling low. Whenever I am trying to fetch happiness from outside, I am feeling low. Otherwise, if I am self-confident, if I have that clarity in me, why will I look for happiness outside? It will be innate to me. So two things. One is this word may or aham you know, or I or self relates to a reality which is very much there. And the second thing is the evaluation part. If I do not evaluate rightly, then I enter into such situations when you know, I appear egoistic or something. In general, when we are making a program, seldom do we use the word, I will say we. We have to do this. We have to explore. We have to make the program. Because that when that feeling of relationship is there and we are working together, we are generally using the word we. We are seldom using the word I. But when there is some responsibility on to me, I'll say, yes, it is my responsibility. I am responsible. But when I am working together, we are making the program with the feeling of we. Ji. Thank you, Vaya. Bas wahi par confusion tha. Thank you very much. Nice, Vaya. There is some question here in the chat box. Though, okay, Kavita Ji Singh, though I have a feeling of relationship when I get to think of a person, I still feel uncomfortable because of the previous interaction, how to resolve. Yeah. Now in the previous interaction also, if the feeling of relationship was not ensured and I developed some feeling of position, right, that makes me uncomfortable. So first of all, I will rightly evaluate myself and the other. And with that right evaluation, I can be resolved. Second thing, whenever I get a chance to interact with a person again, I try to reflect on that situation. And if I have been wrong, I'll accept my mistake. right? And I'll share my feeling with the other that because of something and I got irritated or angry or uncomfortable and I did not behave with you rightly. If I feel that, uh, it is very difficult for me to share this thing with the other because I may feel unpleasant or the situation may become unpleasant. I may share it through some other person also. That is also possible. With whom both of us feel related. related. So that is also possible. Tara Ji Singh, is it fine, Kavita Ji? Tara Ji Singh, fear, imagination with no clarity or living without 
clarity. Yes, nice to hear. Here, I have noticed most of the problems link with the money. I also I know the, the, that is a difference between the animal and the human consciousness. But every problem is there, even though you have given a lot of time to realize yourself and do that activity, this and that. Even though I have done this activity, then finally the money is essential that is required. Without money, I can't do anything. In this situation point, I will come back. How to resolve this? See, as we have been discussing you now, that there are three basic requirements to ensure a fulfilling life. Right understanding within the self, feeling of relationship in my relations, and physical facility with the rest of nature. So the money is a mode of exchange of physical facility. And it comes at the third priority. It's not the money that is making me unhappy. It's my association with money. It's my way of looking at money. So I can see that money is a mode to ensure physical facility. And physical facility is the need of the body. Right? And most of the problems in our families are not due to lack of physical facilities. They are due to lack of feeling of relationship. And the relationship can be harmonious only with right understanding within me and the other. So this way I can look at all my relations. This way I can look at all my participation. So it's not that the problem are basically problems are owing to the money part. No. Somewhere the feeling of relationship is missing. The right understanding is missing. Another thing that you can observe is that everybody has the potential to produce more than what one requires in terms of physical facility. That is there. If you see the need for physical facility is quite limited. Okay. But if you are not resolved, then we enter into multiple situations where we have made a choice, but we are embroiled now in that situation. The choice was mine, but it was based on some preconditioning due to lack of right understanding. Now, for example, we have to provide education for the child. Now, if we just try to go by the norms of the society, education is becoming costly day by day. But I was just thinking about it, that we teach our children from class 1 to 12, like even from pre-nursery to 12. And finally, the child has to go for engineering, where the subjects which are going to be tested are merely math, physics, chemistry, right? And ultimately, the child has to go for a startup. The child has to start his own business. Now, just try to have a look at the complete picture. That ultimately, if the child has to start a startup, he has to develop his own business, he has to invest for that. So the subject that he has gone through right from childhood up to higher education, how they have contributed to his development of skill as well as competence. We have to really do this exercise. We have to map all the efforts that we have made since childhood you know, to the development of competence and skill in the child. Maybe some effort that we have made have not yielded anything. So I will have a relook at the whole education process. If I do not do this exercise within me, if I do not evaluate the current education process rightly, and I just make a program for my child, I am overburdened. I feel that, oh, now so much of fees is being charged from the child, right? Right from primary education. For a single child, I have to spend this much. And then it appears as if, I need so much of money to help my child get educated. But essentially, it is not the money that is required. It is my own clarity that is required. And then I can look for some right program. Maybe I'm not able to actually develop it today. But I, at least I can have that vision. And we can join together to raise some program. So we can look at all these needs where we feel too much burdened and, uh, and we start thinking in terms of money. So as we have been mentioning in the workshops also, so we have five to six major concerns. One is education of the child. The second is marriage of the child. The third is making a house for myself, my family. Right? Fourth is the medical expenses. Fifth is the expenses in the old days. If I am not having clarity about all these needs and the right way to fulfill them, I will feel overburdened. And it will appear as if money you know, is the seldom thing, is the sole thing that is required in life. That can only solve my problems. But that is not the case. 
I have not been able to resolve myself on all these fronts. What is the right education? What is the right program to ensure a happy and fulfilling life for my child? Is the marriage going to be always costly or there could be other ways of you know, uh, celebrating the marriage of the child also? Similarly with house, similarly with health, similarly with your expenses in the old age. All that clarity you may have. But for that, you have to do this exploration. The problem is that we are, if you are not doing that exploration, then we are caught up in problems and we feel that the problems are outside. The solution is also outside because I have to get money for solving my problems and I am always in distress, which is not the case. From basically, theoretically, I can understand. But practically, when come to real life, I give a lot of time to, in reality, picture. Not, mm -hmm. See, there are certain things you know, which you can implement very much. For example, for health. If you have the feeling of self-regulation, if you nurture your body properly, upkeep your body properly, you know, do exercises, okay? don't take anything which is going to disturb your health, then it's very much practical from, from day one. But when it comes to educating your child and you have to you know, have some system around, then it will take, take some time. So it is nothing theoretical here. It's only that my participation will take time. There are certain things where only my decision making is enough. For example, to keep my body healthy, you know, my decision should be enough, provided the physical facilities around are not so uh, in bad shape. The air is not so polluted, the food is not so contaminated. Otherwise, it is quite simple. Similarly, for educating the child also. Similarly, for making a house. House also, I'll say that you may be owning a house parental, through parents. Isn't it? And it's only maybe your conditioning not to live in that house or maybe the family is not able to decide. So we feel like we have to uh, have some own structure so that we can live there happily. All those things have to be looked into. So there is nothing theoretical here. It's only that we have to contemplate. We have to you know, uh, explore. If I do not do that, things will appear always at the level of thought and then they appear theoretical. If I start contemplating, I start feeling resolved. Thank you, Bhaiya. I will try to my level best. Nice, Bhaiya. Nice. Uh, Ji Bhaiya, uh, uh, this is with regard to my feeling uh, yesterday that I was, I was going through uh, because uh, because of the election results and all, I was uh, following up uh, the updates in the mobile and uh, uh, I was uh, so uh, deeply engrossed in that that uh, uh, I uh, I uh, I could not keep track of my feeling. So it created a lot of uh, tension in me later on as I was seeing that uh, whether the government will be formed or not, whether the uh, things like that that were discussed in the forums and all. So it created a lot of uh, opposition in me. So um, I was not able to keep track of myself. So, uh, so, uh, so uh, how can we deal with the, uh, such uh, exigencies, Bhaiya? See, <clears throat> few things here. One good thing is that you are feeling concerned about the nation. You are feeling concerned about the society. This is good to see. But at the same time, if I do not have clarity of human goal, if I do not have clarity about the dimension of society that will ensure fulfillment of human goal, then I will always be running into such situations. So we can see that basically the society is going to have harmony only when we are able to fulfill the human goal. That is right understanding in every human being, prosperity in every family, fearlessness in society and coexistence with the rest of nature. This goal is not clear maybe to the system. So people are struggling for things, but they do not have the clarity of the goal. And when it comes to understand the goal and live accordingly, now you'll see that now every human being, right, be it the person who is voting or be it the person who is getting elected, all have to work to develop right understanding and right feeling. So I am now clear about my program. What is going to be my program? These ups and downs will keep on happening. 
how i can ensure a sustainable and you know, order in society how i can ensure harmony in the society that can continue that can be sustained now i will work for that part otherwise i'll keep on feeling disturbed because i do not have clarity about the order in society isn't it yes bhaiya but the surrounding situations the geopolitical uh, conditions may be conducive sometimes or sometimes it may be uh, uh, it may be um, uh, uh, what is that uh, not so uh, good so that uh, that concern is uh, is it good or uh, like uh, how do we take that like uh, external like uh, this is something like in uh, uhv like uh, uh, sensations like uh, things from outside affecting our own self so how do we take that in this uh, uh, way so first of all the concern is good i need to have concern about the society about the whole humanity right but the feeling part may not be clear so i have multiple doubts inside i have lack of clarity i have lack of right understanding and then i am only working at the level of thought i do not have a clear vision also and i look at situations outside and get disturbed inside that is because the right understanding is missing the feelings in the relationship are not ensured and that's why i do not have complete clarity so i'll work for that so to be concerned is good it's better to be concerned about the society but whether i am looking only at the problems or i am clear about the solution also if i am not clear about the solution and i am only looking at problems i am myself going to run into problems and this might be happening so you mean to say that uh, we need to be firmly fixed in our uh, uh, explorations uh, uh, regarding uh, uhv and uh, try to see uh the external things in that light or our participation in uh, ensuring right uh, feelings in others uh, in society etc uh that is the yeah, way on one, end, on one end i have to work for right understanding within me in completeness and on the other hand i have to keep on working for universal human order that will ensure happiness innately in me so on one hand i have to keep on working for realization on the other hand i have to you know participate in the larger order leading to universal human order and human tradition that is my program that is something that has to be clear to me okay bhai i'll give an example i'll give an example here like in our college also the students are sometimes complaining that they are not getting enough opportunity for placement now there is some uh, government portal called national career service ncs so it had uh, published some advertisement about 10 companies had come and they were conducting interviews so i sent the message to all the students and asked them to go and appear for interview in the evening when i asked the students whether we had gone or not some of them said that sir it was scorching sun so we did not go now what is happening here when we look at the society and we get complaints that there is problem of unemployment we feel concerned that yes there is so much of unemployment and why people not not getting employment but at the level of individual we can see that the student is not going to the <laughs> placement venue because it is scorching sun outside hmm. so where is the problem now is it unemployment or is it uh, the dependence on sensation for happiness uh 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 so we do not get the true picture of problem in the society by getting news so of course there is unemployment i am not saying but the actual cause may not be lack of employment the actual cause may be something else people are saying that there are so many of op- employment opportunities but people do not have the right skills i can see that students have to be forced to come for classes they have to you know somewhat mm. uh, uh make we have to make them pass <laughs> somewhat many of the students yes, because yes. they are not skilled enough Yeah. so on one hand they are not developing the right skills they are not developing the right understanding okay they want more and more physical facilities you know 
sensual yeah. things from outside yeah. they would not like to go to the villages and work there they would not like yeah. to go to the suburban areas and work there while there is so much of work there yeah. and on the other hand they are complaining about lack of employment when the company is coming they are saying that how can i go in this is scorching sun when the company is sending them to the field they will say that why should i go out of the ac room mm-hmm. then how will the employment get generated mm. so unless i have the clarity of human goal and the program to fulfill it i am not able to evaluate the problem as rightly it is always going to if you look at the problem society they are always going to the lack of right understanding right thinking in the individual mm-hmm. Just everything is in order, except human being. Uh-huh. So there is discreteness outside, but only hum- uh, human conduct is uh, not so definite as of now. Yeah, that is because, and that is why we are doing these exercises. We are trying to look into the feeling. We are trying to evaluate the feeling. We are trying to transform the feeling because from here only. solution will emerge in all dimensions at the level of individual as well as family as well as society as well as nature it's not that to make my country rich i am going to exploit the nature we are presently only look hai na that my gdp should go to that level my economy should be the third largest second largest first largest what is going to happen to the nature now delhi had 50 degree celsius temperature recently Mm. My country may become, let's say, a ten billion dollar economy, right? Mm. And mm. the temperature goes to sixty degrees Celsius. What will happen to our health? What will happen to the birds and animals and trees? Mm. So we have to have a holistic perspective. Mm. We are not looking at things in a holistic perspective. We are looking in a very fragmented way. We are not even talking about the real issues. We are not talking about the problems of society. Nice, Bia. A lot of discussion we had today. It is going to be time now.